Hello everyone, how are you? I am fine by the grace of Allah. Today I will discuss about Amazon uh, DynamoDB, which is a NoSQL solution. So uh, today I am going to discuss what is a NoSQL database and then I will show you how to create a new table in DynamoDB and how to do search over there. So let's get started. Um, to go to DynamoDB, let's type here. DynamoDB. Before starting uh, doing uh, continue further, so let me introduce what is DynamoDB NoSQL. So NoSQL database is a uh, key value pair database or document database. So previously we have worked with SQL database, which is a standard query language like MySQL, Oracle, Microsoft SQL servers. So uh, these traditional database servers have served our purpose for last 20 to 30 years. Uh, but now, today, the, the demand for new technology, cloud-based uh, applications, web applications, mobile applic apps, IoT applications. So these creates a huge uh, database. And these needs to be internet uh, scalable, highly scalable highly available into multiple regions so to keep in mind this no database no sql database is created it is highly scalable it is it even if it's uh, terabytes of data it can give uh, response in a single digit millisecond so that's that's quite important for uh, applications like uh, web applications, e-commerce, or mobile apps, games, IoT. So for these reasons, uh, NoSQL database is very, very popular. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database that is managed by AWS. So it is fully managed service. So it's, it's a serverless component. So while we are talking serverless, it means that the server behind this database, NoSQL database, it's managed by AWS. So we don't need to worry about provisioning uh, the files, size, capacity, or CPU, or anything. It is automatically handled by uh, AWS, and it's highly scalable. It's highly available, and it is uh, multi-region and multi-master database. We need to provision the read capacity and write capacity but apart from that we don't need to worry about the in underlying server and underlying infrastructure so all of these things are managed by the AWS by itself so uh, to continue further let's uh, go to DynamoDB I am here now on the DynamoDB so uh, in the DynamoDB we create tables so previously if MySQL, we first create a schema database and then we create tables. But in DynamoDB, we just create tables at first. So there is no concept of database. So you just create a table. So let's create a table here. So I give the table name books. So uh, the partition key can be the author. Each book has an author, and we can add a sh short key. That's book has title. So, and then we keep it as it is, default. We don't want to change anything at this moment. It's a very basic uh, example. We're not going to go into the details. So, let's uh, create this. Okay, my table is created, so uh, I keep all those settings as a default, and just I give the table name and two fields. Fields can be extended at any time. That's the beauty of NoSQL database. So if I have new fields, it can be a JSON object, JSON, um, anything we can add on the runtime. So um, let's create some items here. Author, uh, I put a name Ben Graham. Intelligent investor. Let's 
let's go. Okay, let's save. And then I add a new. The book title author is uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Book name is Rich Dad Poor Dad. So I added two rows here, and uh, these two, as I can see, I have author, I have a title. I can add more fields on the runtime and uh, let's create some new uh, items here. So, hello. Let's simply this human. And then I can add some other things as well. So I, it's an author, it's a title and published year. Let's say I add this here as 2008. So as you can see, I just create a new, new column here. It's runtime and as you can see, it has a value so um, you can uh, you can assume that others we can also edit and put those values here so i have entered three data here in into my uh, dynamo db tables it's no sql database now i i want to do search over this data so for example i want to do scanning and uh, let's add a filter here let's i want to uh, uh, scan with author string I can do a lot of operations here equals not equals less than greater than equals between exist not exist contains begins with let's try with contents so I will I will do that to Robert and then start search author string contains Robert okay there's nothing I have found so let's try to do something else let's try to refresh and see again what I have done mistakes here okay uh, probably this is starts with uppercase so let's try it again uh, it's it's key sensitive so uh, let's do author string and then contains then I put the value uh, rubber then scan let's see what happens yes now it matched with my scanning so here the author contains Robert so let's do another filter here where title is uh, string and it um, contains rich okay uh, it doesn't found so I will work it you can see rich Robert so uh, this is a basic example of scanning I can do any field in the scanning say um, I can do like uh, my own Let's make a search and here the edit field let's equal 2008 yeah so i see in the author contains human and the year equals 2008 
so I, I found my results into this search query so these are basic examples of how you can do searching and it's uh, you can insert search you can update those records anytime as you want and then you can do um, other kind of query as well the basic thing about the NoSQL is there is no relation between tables so previously what we have done here it's like you have a user table and you have a user information table and there is a joining between user ID into the user table and user information table additional tables but here this is the tables are not related to each other's but you can you can uh, create indexes inside a table and that makes it very fast the query is very fast in the NoSQL database and DynamoDB so um, I think I have I have dis discussed with most of the uh, introductory steps on DynamoDB how we can start you can play around and you can put some things over there there is an API available with an SDK and also using uh, CLI you can access this so what I have done here you can do that similar things with your SDK in my next tutorial I will display you how to do that using an SDK to create tables update records and uh, do scanning over there so I hope it gives you a brief of what is NoSQL database and what is Amazon DynamoDB and how fast within 10 minutes you can create a table in DynamoDB or a NoSQL database so uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you will see my other videos as well. Thank you. Bye.